My Australian friend Jordan said he was going to watch American Dad, so I said, we just call it Dad over here. Fresh. Ah. Meat's juicy. Mm. Ready? Okay. Succhiami le palle. Ah. Come wings, come wings, come wings, come wings, come wings, come wings. He's sitting, standing, and laying down all at the same time. It's magical. Tampon, please. <laughs> Don't question me, you black bitch. Don't question what's going on, ho. Hey, how was your weekend? Overall, it was pretty chill. Ah! I have a order from uh, Uber Eats. Do you know how long it's gonna be, or? Should I wait outside or should I go? Or? I want mommy. I want milk. I want to be held. I want to be comforted. I don't. I don't bullshit. Okay. I don't BS. Work is work. I'm there to work. If you need me to do something, I'll get the job done. And you. Nah, because this part make me arch my back. Fuck with your boy. Hey, fuck with your boy. Are you Irish? Yeah. This is so disturbing. It wants me to push the tail. It wants me to thumb fuck this rabbit. Oh. Y'all, I don't know where this is, but this is like the house. This is the Saudi Arabian Embassy. I don't know. I just like prefer hanging out with guys, you know? Why? Because it's just less drama? No, I just hate women. If you want Timmy, you have to go through me! That goes double for me! If you want Timmy, you have to go through Wanda twice! Why the fuck did he do this? Who? Why would he do this stupid shit? You said what? Can we plan it out? I mean, book the hotel. I love you some cornbread. Greg. <laughs> But I always like to come to New York a little bit early and hit some of my favorite haunts. Like right here, my favorite New York pizza joint. And I'm going to go get me a New York slice. Are you crying? Where? What? Why are you crying? Drugs. Nick, I need help. I want... You know you can't shoot with that? Clearly does not want to be awake right now. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Nigga like me, man. I love the game. I love the house. You feel like one of your ball playing niggas, you know? Like bird magic. Or a male in the train station tries to start an argument with me for no fucking reason, and it's like, bro, I would literally fart in your fucking face. Like, get the fuck away from me. Literally. Hello? No, I'm not busy. Okay, bye. One thing about me is that I love to act. I was not on the phone. That was a prank. I wasn't really on the phone. 
Acting one on one, keep it on your feet. <laughs> no, Drew! <laughs> so dramatic! No! Jelly is that? Yes! No, the red one. Yeah. Say it. Oh my god, did you hear that Sarah I got toxic sock syndrome? Toxic shock syndrome? No, toxic sock syndrome. I love that top, but it would look better on me. <laughs> Don't you dare take a picture of me, bitch! <laughs> I tried to drink the candle! Now I wasn't drinking, I was smelling it, bitch. Yeah, my mom got her whiskey in here. <laughs> this is sunscreen. <laughs> sunscreen. Everybody needs a little dabble, do ya? <laughs> oh my god, look out that window. Look out that window. Look. Ow. Mmm, fresh. Get ready for court with me. Now, girl, I don't know what you did to get yourself in court. <laughs> but what you just did to your hair, girl, you need to go to jail. I'm sorry. That hair is a victim of your crimes. I'm just thinking about how all my my prehistoric ancestors did was eat fruit, fuck, and die. And I'm so upset that I can't have that life. Now listen, I love myself, okay? This we know. But I- Congratulations. That's the first step toward happiness and success. What? Do you think there's anything out here? I heard spooky, spooky things happen out here. <laughs> like what? There's an axe murderer, and I heard he only kills transgenders. No one is immune to financial troubles. Check out this DM from Lady Gaga. Hey, it's Lady Gaga. I need $145 to continue working on my new song. Ra, ra, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So if we could scrape together a few bucks to send to Lady Gaga, I think it would really help her out. Thank you. Sorry, do you guys have smaller condoms? Because they're all like two big condoms. Uh, yeah, uh, that's all we have here. Because they look a bit too thick. Like I've tried them all and every time I put them in, they slide off. Okay. So you have smaller? I don't know. Shit. Bitch, Chipotle must be going broke or something because in my twin, well, how long I've been eating that on Chipotle since I was like six. Bitch, I ain't never seen them wrap my shit up like this. Bitch, they wrap my shit up with some aluminum for you. Like we was at a family gathering. They These hoes must be going broke or something. In honor of me planning a trip to New York City, I will give you one last impersonation. Sometimes you just have to say fuck it and buy a $100 steak. Today we went to a speakeasy called Capital Grill. If you know, you know. If you think this is the money shot, just wait till the end. We may or may not have saw Timothy Chalamet. Go cry about it. If you're vegan, keep scrolling. No, but actually this menu is everything we've ever wanted in this life. One of the most out-of-pocket things that my German TA ever said to us was when I was in a breakout room and we had completed the assignment, so we're sitting there with our cameras off and our microphones muted, and she hops into the room and sits in silence with us for a couple seconds and then just goes like, all of the other groups are smiling and laughing and having fun, and then I come over here and you are sitting in silence, not saying a word to each other. Let's see if I can connect these dots with the whirlpool effect. 
All right, starting out strong. Nice straight line, I see you. Uh-oh. Discombobulated there. We're back on track. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Yo, what the hell are you doing, Leo? Get back on track. Yeah, it's not going to look like a box anymore. I guess we're going to have to see the final result. Here we go. Sheesh! Oh, my God, look at Squidward. Rolling Stone released the 500 greatest songs of all time. You will not believe what's number one. I mean, I think that's pretty well deserved. I, it's not really a surprise to anyone. And you won't believe what's number two. Um, I'll show you in just a second what number two is. Wow, again, it's um, Carly Rae Jepsen, you know? Um, they just... <laughs> they just have a pulse on the music industry, really. I work in a grocery store, and we uh, recently started carrying a um, feta cheese alternative, like a non-dairy feta cheese. And um, today, uh, I was talking to a new coworker who is very kind and very sweet. And um, she said to me, um, oh, I'm, I really want to try this new feta. Uh, I really want to use it to make fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> and I just said, oh, yeah. So I'm sitting with one of my kids, right? And she is eating, God love her, uh, the canned green beans stuffed into her um, cafeteria roll, and lunch cafeteria, lunch school cafeteria roll. And she keeps saying, this is bussin, bussin. And I wanted to move the conversation along from that. So I asked her, I asked her about her weekend and she said, oh, Miss Kenzie, my auntie took me to Chuck E. Cheese. And I was like, oh, that's so fun. We're not done because then she goes and then we went to the walmart where all the white people are at and she goes miss kenzie i was so excited because i really thought i was gonna see you and i didn't have the i just said you must have just missed me girl because i was there you must have just missed me the walmart where all the white people are at just missed me i have a hard time taking my medication i've struggled with it for years my therapist, Angela, suggested we make it a fun experience. So I bought a claw machine from Goodwill to make it a game and hopefully make me more consistent with it. Inside each of these capsules is my psych meds for the day. Plus a few Flintstones vitamins sprinkled in for spice. I was trying to send a video to a friend showing how cool it was. I had told her how I was so good at this game when I was a kid. No. Oh my God. Guess I'm staying mentally ill today. Um, tell me about a time you found out you were stupid. So, I was in primary school. Uh, that's how early on in life I found out I was stupid. And I was standing in a queue of students and there was a boy in front of me called Stephen. And the teacher asked for his name and he said Stephen. And the teacher said, are you a V or a PH? And he said a PH. And I started panicking because I was like, I don't know if I'm a V or a PH. Um, and we got the front and she didn't ask us. So when I went home, I was saying to my mum, am I a V or a PH? And she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, they're asking people at school if they're a V or a PH and I need to know which one in case they ask me. And really panicking. My mum was getting really confused and I just kept repeating it and she was getting really angry. And she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, I don't know that ask Stephen. And she was like, the main how do you spell his name is it v or ph <laughs>